The next topic that we are going to discuss is CIDR, that is classless interdomain routing. Now, the previous one, this classes that we discuss, this is called as classful IP address. What is the limitation of this? We have to go with, you know, uh, specific subnet masks that if we use class A IP address range, then we can just have network part of 8 bits, right? But what if I want it for 9 bits or 10 bits? I want to decide on my own that how many bits should be representing the network and how many bits should be representing the host. So for that we use the CIDR. It is the method of IP address allocation which is more efficient. So here we specify the subnet mask using the slash notation. So you can see the example of CIDR over here. So we are having the slash 24. It means that 24 bits are representing the network over here, means the first three octets and the last is representing the host part. Or is it compulsory? We can just have 24. No, you can have any number of your choice. Okay, it can be slash 10, slash 12, slash 16, 17, 18, whatever you want. You can have it in CIDR blocks. But for AWS, these are the CIDR supported ranges. You can go from 16, which is the largest network that we can have with, 6, with 65,536 hosts inside of it. And the smallest network that we can have on AWS is slash 28, means 28 bits representing the network part. So we are left with just 4 bits of host part. So if we see 4, it would be 2 to the power of 4, that is 16. So we can just get 16 IP addresses for host. Okay, rest 28 bits would be representing our network. So this is the smallest network that we can have on AWS and this one is the largest network. So this was all about IP addressing in that was our first topic. The next topic that we are going to understand in this particular module is about VPC that is virtual private cloud.